illness certainly can be an addiction. Um, it depends on what the underlying motive is. For most people, the illness is actually the denial of an underlying emotion. So when I'm denying an underlying emotion, usually I will get sick, depending on what that emotion is. But you may actually also be addicted to illness in order to get approval, or in order to get love. And if that's the case, and we find ourselves getting sick over and over and over and over and over again, we need to look a lot more closely at how much we feel we're loved. Because it's highly likely that we're actually feeling very unloved, and we want, we use illness as a way to get attention. And you know that there are many people that doctors nowadays sometimes call the hypochondriacs. They always seem to be sick, or they always seem to be worried about some kind of affliction. Well, creating an illness is an extension of that in, in some cases. So it can be a mixture of those two things. Look, whenever I get sick, the first thing I look at is my denials. Yeah. So just, uh, not yesterday, but the day before, I had a very sore throat. And I was saying to Mira, it's looking like a good weekend coming up, like I would probably get sick over the weekend and maybe have to cancel it or whatever. And, uh, but what I did was I laid down for an hour uh, in the morning on, uh, on Saturday morning, because I still had the sore throat Saturday morning. And I just prayed to God about, all right, what, why, what am I denying within myself here? And it came very rapidly that it was to do with uh, me not wanting to be loved. And, uh, and I was denying uh, some of those emotions that were underneath that. And when I allowed, I, I just allowed myself even just to acknowledge that, my sore throat disappeared within a few minutes after that. So, and that's like, so yesterday I was fine with my throat. Does that make sense? Like it's just a matter of acknowledging sometimes even that this is the real state that you're in. Thanks. Yeah.